Hey tribe and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It's greatly appreciated. Um, so this is going to be the second collective message that I upload for you guys today. Just wanted to do a, another one because I felt like the energy of the last one was a little bit repetitive in regards to the energy I've been getting for the collective over the past um, week or so. But um, it could just mean that the energy is, is still going on, okay? It's still relevant. So let's see if we can get one card to start off with from the Psychic Oracle deck for you guys. Very general message, okay? The entire message might not resonate. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Just saw the Deception and Envy card. Um, like the video, you guys. Share, subscribe, comment. I comment back. Um, the more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy into these messages and I can channel what's going on with you. So let's see, Spirit. What is the overall message for the collective for this reading? Timeless energy as well, you guys. So I'm uploading it today, but whenever you see this message is when it is meant for you to see it, okay? All right, so we got at the bottom of the deck, foundations and achievements. This is also um, my family card. I get a lot of cancer energy from this card as well. Something about a home or stability um, is popping up as well here. New beginnings, okay? And then balance. So something could be working out in your favor today. Intuition, waiting game, and firm foundation. Something that you've had a lot of patience with. So maybe that's why that patience card kept popping out um, in the other spread for today and yesterday and this whole week, to be honest. So let's see. Stability. The number four sticks out for somebody. Maybe something happened in the month of April, but fours represent stability as well. Um, I'm also hearing closure. Maybe you're getting closure for something. This could be closing, um, closing on a home as well here too, okay? Or moving, okay? Something about one spot to another. Somebody is moving um, office spaces, something with your job or your career. Maybe you're getting like your own studio or you're just moving to a different location or something like that. All right, Spirit, what do we have for the collective? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so hmm, you or someone else in your energy, Nine of Swords, um, sleepless nights, being very worried. I get with this particular card, like somebody's scared or something's haunting them or they're afraid of you finding out something um, or you're afraid of somebody finding out something. But something is very worrisome and bothering um, heavily an individual here. Behind that, we got the three of swords. So um, this could be something that's very disappointing, heartache or heartbreak that's showing up here. Okay, so let's see. Collective message here. We got the hangy man. It's in a reverse. Um, and I usually start all the cards upright, but we'll take it in a reverse because there has to be a reason that that one was in the reverse. I think that's the only card here. Yep. That is in the reverse. Okay. So we got the hangy man popping out here, but it's in the reverse. Okay. Um... So something about no longer being stagnant or stuck or if anything was delayed or if anything, you know, was on hold for you, I feel like that's being released today. Again, we have this four with the foundations and achievements. So it makes perfect, perfect sense because this is stability. So there's there's been a stagnant energy with something and it's definitely um it's being released, especially with this Ace of Swords coming out in the middle. So if you've been waiting to hear some sort of information or approval or acceptance um, or confirmation, anything dealing with like a newsletter, um, an email, a message, a voicemail, something like that. If you're waiting to hear for approval, I feel like that's coming in for you guys today. Then we got the Page of Wands, which usually represents... Um, good news okay so the page pages are messengers so somebody could be coming in today it could be a leo aries or sagittarius um that's giving you some sort of information here okay with the ace of swords that's gonna be able to allow you to release something or become unstuck from some sort of situation possibly if this is your energy something that you've been very worried about something tied to heartache or heartbreak um 
something or someone that you're very defensive towards. Possibly there's a King of Cups showing up here too. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Moon card, somebody that can have a lot of secrets, Palace of Cups here. Um, hmm, you could be finding out a secret about maybe a lover or an ex-lover, King of Cups, a husband, a father, somebody who's been emotionally unavailable or detached from you or was in the past. Let's see. What is this hanging man in a reverse spirit? Collective message, all placements, all signs. What is this hangman energy in the reverse? Something's giving you the like the go-ahead or the green light. Um, so I just saw the page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This could be mm, someone definitely has their eye on you. I always get a shifty energy too from this page of wands. So it could be a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius that has their eye on you. Um, because it just looks like this person is kind of like plotting here. But we have the six of swords that came out in the reverse, and then we have the ace of pentacles. So this fire sign, or whoever this is, it could be a younger fire sign, it could be anyone, it could be a child for some of you guys. Somebody's coming in giving you some sort of information here. Um Hanging man in a reverse with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to offer you something here to kind of like stop you from moving forward or stop you from separating or stop you for, from kind of doing something, okay? Um, it feels like whatever that something is, it does not or did not include them. We got the Strength card, Leo Virgo energy showing up here. What else? So this Hanging Man and we got the Moon card. And then we got the temperance card here at the bottom of the deck, six of cups, heavy fire energy showing up, um, magician, what else? Five of cups. Somebody could have been manipulative for sure. There's secrets with this moon card here, um, or this is kind of warning you to have the strength or the courage to kind of really let this, if this is something that you have already let go of, to just let it be, okay? Hmm. Let's see, what's this Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords for the Collective. The Emperor tried to pop out here, so you could be dealing with, again, a father figure, maybe the father of your children, um, a boss or something of the sorts, Aries Leo energy, but we got the Ace of Pentacles coming out. So two Aces together. We got the Knight of Cups, and we got the Hermit card, okay? So... Hermit energy. This is you, whether you're a Virgo or not. This is the energy of isolation, um, kind of just retreating and hiding and healing, reflecting on the situation. Um, this is someone does not have access to you because with this Knight of Cups, with this Hermit card, they kind of want to come in and approach you, possibly um, speak to you or give you some sort of information, confirmation or truth here. Star card at the bottom of the deck, it could be an Aquarius, um, but this also represents healing. Like somebody wants to kind of like um, make amends with you or I'm hearing like waving a white flag. King of Swords, this is someone who's been heavily thinking about um, you or whatever you guys, whatever situation that you had. Nine of Swords really being in their head about it. Chariot card and a Five of Cups, okay? So you could have left this person. You could have actually moved as well or something about a card here could be significant. What is this Page of Wands spirit? Page of Wands for the Collective. Okay, so we got the Temperance card falling out here. Not necessarily in the upright or the reverse. Um... Somebody doesn't know where they stand with you. There's just this energy of like being up in the air. Um, they want to create balance, but maybe they're not sure how to, or they just don't know if it's even possible at this point. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or you could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn because this page of swords is popping up again as this individual watching you, researching you, trying to kind of plot and plan as to when or how is the best way to kind of come in. Um, but this person is heartbroken here queen of cups you release them okay high priestess energy and the reverse showing up here eight of cups and the reverse showing up here as well um you could have felt as if this was a spiritual connection or it feels like you ignored your intuition about this person in the past page of cups energy 
Um, they could have been very non-committal or just playful or just kind of really all over the place, not stable. And this could have been a red flag for you, but you ignored it. I feel like they keep showing up here as a page. What else is this page of wands? Okay, so we got the nine of wands and we got the three of pentacles. All right, so somebody, this is a warrior card. Like somebody really wants to, um, they're adamant about working with you in some sort of way, collaborating with you some sort of way, kind of just getting back on good footing, good graces. This could be in the workplace as well or a business partner, anything of the sorts. We got the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is steady showing up as a page or just wanting to kind of have this fresh start or new beginning with you. King of pentacles, yeah. Yeah. So it could be an earth sign. Uh, we got the king of pentacles or somebody is is greedy here or focused on your money. I'm feeling the energy of um, selfishness, a little manipulation as well. Six of cups, somebody from your past, magician, star card. Yeah, let's see what the wisdom deck has to say. Wisdom oracle deck messages for the collective in regards to the situation spirit. Any advice, anything else that the collective needs to know? It's like somebody sees your stability. That's what I'm picking up on. Someone sees your stability um, or your independence or whatever it is that you are doing and flour flourishing at with this foundation and achievement cards and the uh, new beginning card and the balance right behind that. Like somebody sees this um, and you're very spiritual and intuitive here. You have a lot of patience. Anything you put into action, it actually happens with this firm foundation card and this fertility. Like everything you place your hands on turns into gold. Somebody sees that and they're attracted to that um or they want a piece of that it kind of feels like for themselves or they feel as if they oh they sh like they deserve some sort of part of your success what is the um we got the milk and honey card showing out here so this feels like your life right now like everything smooth was very fruitful and abundant balanced stress-free carefree um but let's see and i see the leg up card at the bottom of the deck so somebody feels as if like you have a leg up or you've upgraded or things are just going so well for you um and they're trying to it kind of just feels like they want to be a part of that this honestly feels like very similar to the the other reading that i'm uploading for you guys today but treasure island okay you have some sort of treasure or some sort of knowledge or you just feel like a very karmically lucky or blessed individual okay rightfully so i feel like you put good energy out there we got new life not only did we have new beginnings you guys have a new life here and look what's at the bottom of the deck Somebody's watching. This person is observing you, keeping tabs on you, a leg up round and round in their head, imagining co-creating with you, possibly having some sort of family with you, building something, regeneration, wanting to be back in good graces, okay? Making amends because there's no place like home, wanting to come out of the dark with the between worlds, and they're bringing this message here of community support. Um, they feel like you guys have un been unfinished business here. This is also someone who feels as if this connection is faded um wanting to mend it wanting to clean up their actions deeply knowing that you are for them or i really heard deeply knowing that they really messed up a situation with you a change in the wind so this person is going to be um claiming that they have changed we got the thank your car and then a not for you um and the reverse exchanging gifts okay it's building blocks so this person wants to convince you that they have changed um or they will change or something along those natures i'm gonna leave it here you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time